People that say goose tastes really bad. If you make it in jerky and you do this strategy to um, bleed out a lot of that blood and filter it out by changing the water, I mean, it's, it's incredible. We're in the right spot, boys. See that, Matt? Goose poop. We're set, buddy. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> Take a little nap. We're shooting hours now. All set up. Little family group over there too. Should be good. Matt, do you have anything to say? No. Are you excited? Yeah. Same here, buddy. It's gonna be good. Hopefully we get some footage on the shot cam. And put a mat knocking down some geese. Got some honking over there. Fox geese. Yeah, it's bow opener. We're goose hunting. Yeah, he doesn't seem too worried. They're coming. Well, that first group didn't like it, so we moved it back into this grass. I got a group of seven just, just landed right there. More are flying. Running down cripples. <laughs> I got this one here. Get him, Adam! Matt, you look pretty happy, dude. <laughs> Any bands? No. Oh, that was some fun action. Four down. That other flock still landed right over there for some reason. We could have dusted, dusted some pigeones. Did I shoot him? Yeah, I shoot him. Uh, uh, the nice job, Matt. Tasted that one, buddy. I shot the first one. That's that. why you say patient, Matt. <laughs> that's why you don't, <laughs> Matt. That's why you. <laughs> that's why you don't shoot pigeons, buddy. Because geese are bigger than pigeons. <laughs> No, he, he tasted that one all on his own. I dropped those two and you you got that one, right? Yeah. That was awesome. Go get mine too, Matt. Good job. <laughs> that away, Matt. Any bands, Matt? No. Oh, and did you get again? That's awesome, no, man. That, I think that was it. Yeah, there's this one. This one. That was pretty awesome. We we got eight. We should have had should have had our nine for the limit. Uh, that last shot, I dropped two, and I should have had a triple bang, bang, bang. Three got up, but only got two, and my shot cam did not record, but. Pretty awesome hunt out here. Gonna make some good goose jerky. I think that's the first time I've ever picked up decoys waterfowl hunting and not had more birds come. Resting out the geese. 
Matt just wants to go shoot a pigeon. Yeah, we just shoot pigeon. Two bags of goose breasts. Wow. All right, had a great hunt out there with Adam and Matt this morning. Got eight geese, and I'm going to be making some goose jerky. So I'm slicing this these goose breasts into strips, about a quarter inch thick. Um, maybe a little less if you're using a dehydrator, especially a little less is okay. That's about the thickness I'm going for, as you can see. And then what I'm doing, and this is, I think, the key to making good goose jerky. People are always like, oh, it's gamey. It's tough. Here's the key. Soak your goose breasts in cold, clean water. And I'm going to change that water multiple times before I marinate them. Take a look at the color right now. See what that looks like. And trust me, when you see this next in the video, it's going to look a lot, of, lot different because that blood gets pulled out from, from the meat and really enhances the flavor. So if you're doing it out of the freezer and cutting these, if you have it like partially thawed and it's slightly frozen still, it makes cutting this these goose strips a lot easier. Um, I'm, I just want to do this right now while they're fresh and get this in a marinade right away. But once I get down near the end part here, it's harder to cut that in a, in a strip. And that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the, the end pieces, more like the little pieces. I'm going to put it in a separate bag and grind that up for goose, jer uh, goose chili to use at a later time. All right. Filled all of them in here. And as you can see, I mean, this is already pulling out a lot of blood. And as it sits, it's only going to do more and more. All right. Two days later, after changing the water a couple times, check out the difference. And this is in a red container. So like, I can't even remember what the last video looked like before I got to this point, but you can see just a major difference in the meat there. Here, let me turn the flash on. Here's with the flash on, and you can just see a lot of the blood has pulled out and these strips of jerky are just really quality meat now to put in the brine. That's what we're gonna do. Six pounds. afternoon ready to go you can see how much more moisture that even pulled out of that meat all right using hickory wood chips in there and then got the strips of meat laid on there what's that dnr sent me something yeah. probably Probably a waterfall stamp, I don't know. To shoot more of these. All right, I'm gonna turn it on. You wanna get it to about 170 is a good temperature. Oh yeah, it's smoking well. For jerky, better to leave the vents open to dry out even faster. All right, I let it get a little hotter than I probably should have. I recommend 160, but just want to speed this up since I have a lot and we're going uh, up north for the Northern Opener this weekend. 
This back left of my smoker does get a little too crispy. It looks dark though, but when I bite into it, that's cooked just fine. Still bendy. These are good to go. People that say goose tastes really bad. If you make it in jerky and you do this strategy to um, bleed out a lot of that blood and filter it out by changing the water, I mean, it's, it's incredible.